Alright y'all, today we got Ryan's World is Crumbling with our sister, Simba Good, STG, Lit Up the Pepper Shipper, and Mike. Did he just bite me? Pretty sure he did. Yep. Yeah, he has rabies. <laughs> and he's part of zombie. But let's get into it. Wow. That's crazy. Let's get it, let's get it. Guys, pretend like Red Titan. What is this? Red Titan comic book and okay. the land pages. You know what that means. So this is Ryan's world and we have to save him. If you guys aren't familiar with Ryan's world, he just so happens to be the richest kid on YouTube. And no, that is crazy. on the face of the planet, Ryan's toy reviews. Yep. I'm not gonna lie. Ryan toys reviews is what made me be like, okay, YouTube is possible. And this is 2016. Yeah, yeah he this was, was years ago. He was cooking. And I was like, you I'm know what? Joking. It's doable. YouTube is doable. For sure. Mm -hmm. You are looking at the highest paid YouTube star in 2018 in 2019 but not me him he earned 22 million in 2018 and 26 million in 2019 right yes and, it is, and that's based off a rough estimate he most likely earned two to three times more than that yeah. they got everything from toy ad line, revenue to ad toy, toy lines yeah. to merch to and they, tv shows. and they have oh they're in the, they're in the premium they're uh they're Videos were bought by Pluto TV. All these those third party third party internet TV providers, uh -huh. they all have a Ryan's World channel. Oh, so he's making a killing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Going you heard that right. By the time Ryan was six years old, he had already made eleven million dollars from YouTube. And some of you might be thinking, like, damn, what the hell does this kid do? Does he sell Finn? What? what? Finn no, is crazy. He literally just does toy reviews. Okay. Yeah, he was I mean, it's, it's more complicated than that, but yeah. yeah, but it's like you can see like you can't he can't keep doing this man Well, that's why they and that's the thing they started animating him at one. Yeah, point. they done branched out. Yeah, they, really? Yeah, yeah, this by the time the toys are done He's still gonna be making money the rest of his life because yeah. there's an animated version of him What you saw earlier is their comic book he and only, their toys they're selling He only record for like an hour a week now Oh, wow. Yeah. He go to school on the weekend, he record for like an hour. That's it? Yeah. This video alone got like 10 million views. Jesus. Like, that's insane. And I think it's currently estimated that since Ryan started his channel at four years old, he has generated over $100 million since then. What did he say? To Way put that man. into perspective, <sighs> this kid has generated more money playing with toys than some of your favorite rappers or athletes. So some people might be asking like, what's the problem? He's generated all this money, so what's the issue? And well, he's grown up now, and for some reason, he's still doing these same videos. Hey Evangeline. Hey Ryan. Thank you so much yeah, for- I don't think he wants to do this anymore. Being in the movie. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to see it when it comes out August 16th. Tell everybody about the character you play. You can't convince me Ryan is having fun anymore. Like you just can't. And TikTok has definitely picked up on this. Time, 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 time. I feel like one thing we all have to do real quick, we gotta stop psychoanalyzing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, parasocial. Being we, parasocial. We gotta stop us. being parasocial. Just cause, cause you're not feeling something one day don't mean you don't mean you're not feeling it overall. You and, you and you also have to remember he's getting older, but it doesn't mean he doesn't want to do it. until he says himself or we get wind from his family. I don't think it's necessarily safe to start putting that in the atmosphere because then it might start pushing that narrative where he doesn't want to do it. Yeah, and, but, like, and like he'll probably like start seeing it online and be like, uh, maybe I don't want to do this. Yeah, thing. and or then, maybe I am too old for this. Yeah, and there's also the other side of the spectrum where sometimes you do have to look out for creators when you feel like they're being you know, used and abused by their parents. Yeah. Also, he said out of his mouth, out of his mouth, he record on the weekend. He go to school during the week. On the weekend, they record one little session or whatever they got to do. And that's it. Yeah. That's it. Amen. There's a whole team. They have a production company. Yeah. They have animators. They have everything done for them. There's so much money that they have everything done for them. Yeah. So to jump to the conclusion that he doesn't want to do it, it's kind of crazy. Maybe he don't, but to yeah. To, and then also you gotta remember he's a kid. Yeah. And then after being after doing something like this, you're gonna have days where you're like, oh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I just want to play. Yeah. Video so games it's like we gotta we gotta look at this from just a, a very balanced perspective. Yeah. But I do respect those who are doing it who care you know doing it for the care but not just for the meme see here's the thing though like
like a lot of kids dream of being YouTubers yeah. even at the age of 12. So I don't think he's like yeah. fully upset with it. Because even if he wanted to branch off into gaming, I think that would be that'll phenomenal. Go insane. That will yeah. go Ryan's insane gameplay. from t- right from toys to gaming if he wants to do that. So it's not like he has to stop or probably even wants to stop. It's just probably like oh, yeah, sometimes you're tired, just tired of something. Yeah. yeah, everybody needs a break. Everybody gets burnt out sometimes. Because when you search for Ryan's role in the search bar, it's just a bunch of memes now asking his parents to let him retire. And although these are memes and all, there's definitely a lot of truth in them. At what point do we think someone should be able to retire from being a child content star? Is it when you achieve generational wealth by generating over $100 million? Or is it when you're simply not a child anymore? Because the biggest question is, why is Ryan still doing this content? Your favorite color? I want to see if your truth detector works. Well, obviously. Watch out. And he's still a kid. Yeah. It's going to happen. 12! <laughs> Why you cannot lie. Well, Daddy, you're up. Well, I'm next. Oh, brother. Okay, it's corny. It is. But it's kids' content. But it is kids' content. Like, there's also adults making this type yeah, of content. Yeah. It's Miss Rachel, but as a kid. Yeah, yeah, literally. Literally. So it's like... Do y'all know how childish 12 years old are? Y'all know how childish we like, are. <laughs> like, go to my channel three years ago, and as I gave my cousin Aiden V-Bucks when he was like 12, 13. Look at, like, come on, bro. Yeah. Now he's 15 and he's way He different. wants to be cool. Yeah, like, but 12 right. year old, bro. He's yeah. a kid that wants, seems like he wants to be a kid. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about this part. Weird, buddy. You're weird. I wonder what the conversation is like. At- he's weird for being a dad in his kid's content. Granted, the- I ain't doing it if I'm making $22 million a year. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's what other people got to understand. At the end of the day, the day gonna end. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't piss me off. <laughs> This is pissed me off so bad. But at the end of the day, even if, no matter how many views this is going to get, this ain't going to change shit. They're making hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you think. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Unless my son's saying otherwise. Because they do got fuck you money at this point. Yeah. Until, I'm, until I'm being a shitty parent. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck what you think. Because if, if Ryan is miserable, they have enough money where Ryan be like, I don't want to do this no more. And they could be like, okay. Yeah. They have that they much have backups. Money. They can still produce. The brand is so big, he doesn't need to be. And then there's, you you forget, there's Facebook. He makes money on Facebook, his toy line. Oh, my God. Yep. His TV channels. Yep. Uh, the 24-hour uh, YouTube live streams they had yep. running. Like, he making money. So they could just quit at any point in time. Yeah. And then you gotta remember, this is the toy version of what's those people? Uh, the gaming people we met. Uh, uh, FGTV. Yeah, this is the toy version of FGTV, and it's the same same thing. These grown ass adults watch themselves dress up and act like kids for content because I personally would cringe to death. But anyways, but there is still adults that do like there's adults that create kids content. Like that's like saying oh the Wiggles yeah, yeah. Can't, can't do you know what I'm saying? It's con- and it's also content with their kid. Yeah. I really think Ryan's parents are blinded by greed and are using him as a cash cow and I'll tell you why. A normal set of parents not blinded by money would have analyzed the situation and seen that Ryan clearly is growing up. I mean, he's literally about to be 13 in like a month and yet he's still yeah, acting like right a seven year old kid. Wait, what? He was right up the street from us. Oh. Not up to, like, like literally. Not literally yeah, up the street, but, but like, yeah. He's literally about to be 13 in like a month and yet he's still acting like a seven year old kid. Guys. No, we have absolutely no clue what that means because we're not five and you're not five either. The biggest problem with him still acting Bro, like I'm this telling is that you, it's not the best I'm, thing. When, when them fools is not trying to be uh, cool in middle school or whatever, they act like that. Yeah. Don't, oh, yeah, don't get sure. it. Just because you think you didn't act like, no. Nah. You uh-huh. acting like that when you was Bro, I, I'll keep it all being with you, bro. I was rocking. Look, I ain't telling nobody this a day of my life. Let's make a oh, big Lord. screen. Alright, so look, Power Rangers, right? Mm-hmm. I watched that bit every Saturday <laughs> till I was in 11th grade. Oh, man. And you want to know the reason I stopped? It probably I got some ass. <laughs> oh, oh my. you know what, Paul Power Rangers? <laughs> I think it's probably Bro, in Charles East. I too. just saw, I just, I took Mason to the park like a month ago and it was some 11, 12, 13 years old acting like. Like kids. Like, kids. Like, like, kids. like bro, they, they, bro. They, they got they they got their little they're one part. They're barely teenagers. Yeah, they like, oh, what school you go to? Oh, and they seem like they try to act cool. Next thing you know, let's play tag. Oh my god, 
And they're yeah. like that. Literally, yeah. like that. Playing games. Like, he's a kid. Yeah. You gotta understand, like, Listen, 12 I, don't make you... I think people remember themselves as more mature than they were. And yeah. I know. And I also, think, it. I also think people are projecting yeah. a belief system. Now, granted, it could be true, but I also feel like we have to... We're saying it as an absolute right now. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think it's fair to say it as an absolute, especially when there's no guarantee he hates it. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's no guarantee he hates it. And also, I feel like even if he wants... Like, like I said... If that if that pivot he wants to make with gaming, because that's what most twelve year olds yeah. are into right now, is gaming anyway. If he, wants if, to, it, if he wants to take that fucking pivot, it'll take over. And, and if it comes out, his parents were assholes. His parents were assholes. Fuck him, right? Yeah. But I think we have to genuinely play the middle ground, and we never know. His parents could be trying to set him up for life. They already have. They, yeah. yeah he is this is life. this is okay. We good. Let's make sure you good. Like, come on. We we have to. Cause I know if I'm in a position where I'm making twenty million, whatever, a year. Okay. Let me try to make sure we're good. We can keep this. That when my my son don't have nothing to worry also, about. As dumb as most twelve year olds are, we knew what twenty million was. Oh, God. We knew what millions of dollars was, oh, no matter God. how many millions. Facts. We knew what that was, so I'm just saying. But he could hate it, and they would know. Yeah. His parents know if he did. Yeah. Also, we three minutes in, you have provided no evidence to say that. To yeah, yeah. It's just, so let's it's just. just yeah, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. To be doing developmentally, and it's definitely not the best thing to be doing socially. And don't even get me started on the social life aspect because it's gonna be bad. I feel like we're no, watching right? another no, it's not. Jojo scene. No, it no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Do you know I, I how many you kids? Kid, watch now it? we're. I watched you as a kid. Now we're best friends. Nigga, fuck is you talking about? I'm friends with a millionaire. What the fuck is you talking about? What a you know popular many, YouTuber. Let's really talk about. Do you really know how about. many subscribers he has? One channel and overall, I'm friends with Ryan. Bro. Uh, what? And you gotta remember, there's kids who looked up to him. JoJo, that's a completely different thing. No, it's, it's not, even, not, not even. Not even. Not even. Even with JoJo, people love JoJo. Until yeah. she started so now. Got, da, 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 da. <laughs> Until like, she got cringy. Kids were still looking up to JoJo. See what she was Last year. Last year. They Literally. were still looking up to her last year. Before she came, like, even, even after she came out, it wasn't, like, too drastic. She just started making these random ass drastic changes. The only difference between JoJo now is that She's trying to. She went from being cringy to kids, which was okay. Now she's trying to go for the older crowd because she's old and she's cringy to us. That's and trying to you be can't edgy. be cringy to adults. Yeah, and young adults and, and young older. I teenagers. think she's just trying to be edgy, but it's yeah. coming off as yeah, cringy. basically. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's making. And if you don't know how she turned out, allow me to show you. God help us. It's also very obvious that clearly Ryan doesn't fit the type anymore for his channel. A clear look at the views indicate less and less people are opting to watch Ryan's channel now than previous years. And that's simply because he just isn't that little kid anymore. And why watch him when they can watch actual kid channels that actually feature kids? When doing some research, I saw someone across another channel. The, I, I actual kid that. channels that actually yeah, that's not showing the yeah. old ass. Okay, yeah. all right, whatever. Yeah, like they're not and they that stole much. Ryan's old old. Actually, feature kids. When doing some research, I stumbled across another channel called Gym Sisters, which featured sisters who made content centered around kids when they were younger. Well, they're older now, and guess what? They don't make kid content anymore. You guys have been asking. They, but, but they look like they're in it. The Wait, like she was just in that other video. Wasn't she? The one she at was the a beginning. One, yeah, he was like, "Hey, Ryan, when are we gonna be in the video that together?" Was that was her. What are we talking about? And they look like and they're they look older like they're than thirteen. 17, 16. She looked like an adult. Yeah, over here behind her. Yeah. Where do videos go? Are you guys posting on your own channels anymore? Where's Giselle? Why are there throwback videos? Can you push your content back with YouTube Kids? Gems, don't forget. We're teenagers. We're doing the best we can. They're teenagers. Ryan isn't even 13 yet. Yeah. There is a very drastic change from like the age of like, four, not even 13, because it's still like, but like 14, 15, and 16 is the major yeah. change. That is the major change where you're like, all right, I need to start doing more older shit. But right now, he's still 12. Yeah. The Gym Sisters channel is now just used to repost their old videos, and the girls have since made their own channels where they do stuff their age. Welcome back. Today I am running my errands. I'm getting my nails did, and my boyfriend is coming with me. 
<laughs> I think this is a perfect example of how kid content creators should be adapting their content with their age and not doing what Ryan and his parents are doing. Because at the end of the day, the only person who has to pay for what they're doing is Ryan. And I don't mean pay as in monetarily, I mean pay as in socially. Do we really believe that with the way teens are now, Ryan will not be bullied severely for his old videos? Like, I'm gonna no, be honest. No. I had no and if you're, no. you're quite literally comparing a 12 year old to a 16 year old. And you're also 15. quite literally comparing a 12 year old to a 12 year old with nothing, right? Yeah. To, to a multi millionaire. Let's be real, bro. Uh, like, you used to make kid content. Yeah. I'm a popular YouTuber with money, bro. What when are we Ryan pull about? up to the school in a, in a Mercedes GLE, what are we talking about? What are we about? talking about? You, yeah, you're not, yeah. And he's actually a social kid. Yeah. You, know, you don't know what he's like. Yeah, and that's the thing. He goes to school during the week. He could be Mr. Pop, and he could be normal at, at school. Let's be honest, bro. We got to. We do it is nobody knows. It's, it's, it's their people. private yeah. life. Two channels. And when I go back and watch the He's videos, probably in private school. Yeah. With other millionaire kids. With other <clears throat> like, yeah. I cringe at how I used to sound and I cringe at everything about it. So every minute, a structure spawns. You can already see, it's already getting crazy. And I, I yeah. didn't tell you that the guy that made the plugin, he said that he left yeah. his Easter But see, that's, it's, that's content. That's, 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 that's how life is. Because I still bro. cringe at my old shit, but it wasn't like I was. I cringe that shit from three years ago. Exactly. Like, come on, bro. It happens, but niggas is not going to make fun of you for a video you made three years ago. You you doing shit on YouTube. You popping. And niggas make fun of you. And niggas make fun of you for being successful. Niggas going to make fun of you regardless, bro. Yeah, that's not Easter bad. eggs. There's Easter egg. Like. Call of Duty Easter eggs, you feel me? This was a dark time in my life. We don't talk about it. And unfortunately Why? for Ryan, I have a prediction that when he gets a little bit older, maybe around 15 to 16, he's going to look back at his old videos, not from when he was a kid, but from when he was around this age, 12 to 14, and he's going to cringe. But that's, that's, that's literally, life. you, bro, even if I wasn't. Cheeto tips. I, how do you feel about Cheeto tips? I'm not getting them shits back. Like, you got to. I had a mohawk in. Uh, out of high school, I had a mohawk dyed red. Cringe. Red? It wasn't like red, red, but it was like this. Like a burgundy. Like, oh, uh, oh, oh, like okay. I cringe, but like I would have still did it if I had to. If I had to go back, I still try it because I yeah. wanted to try it. Yeah, it's and like I, I had a, a curly fall. Yeah. <laughs> They, especially when you're in your mid-teens going like, you know, getting older, you're going to cringe at a lot of shit you did Life as a kid. Life is about being ex experimental, bro. But I also feel like we have to be realistic. The kid, to your point, he might hate this. He could. Yeah. He might hate it a few, few years down the line. Hell, there's certain reaction videos we did that I genuinely don't like looking back on. Not valid. That's very so, valid. So, and it's like, it's like, but that comes with life. That's a part of growing. That's a part of being human. No one makes perfect anything. I'll meet you time. where you're at. If your prediction comes true, fair. You can say you told, I told you so, whatever you want to say. All we saying is you don't know until it happens. Yeah, yeah, bro. You don't know. This is all one. Hey, but I ain't gonna lie. This is a W video. Yeah. This is a W video. You, yeah, it's a W. And you got three more minutes to convince to me. Convince me. Because I'm still not yeah. convinced. Because it's like it's all based off you thinking. A you yeah. thinking that his video so is cringe. So far, I'm not gonna lie. So far, it's a little projection. A little projecting. So far. Yeah. You got three more minutes left. So we are gonna see. We gonna, gonna see. see. We gonna see. I cringe hard because he could get away with dressing up as a superhero, etc., when he was younger and still that cute kid. But now, now it's just like why. Nigga, I dressed up as a superhero the other day. Right, right. Kai, Kai, Kai dressed up as fucking as Spider Man yeah. for the marathon. We can't, yo. Come all right, on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Stop, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. That's, Red Titan comic book. And, it's and that's his comic books. That's theirs. Yeah. I better put this back before it falls into the wrong hands. I know just the place. And do I blame Ryan? I think no. you know what I think it is. I think it's because his voice is getting deeper. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that's the main reason people are thinking it's Chris because his voice is getting deeper. But that comes with growing. You might have a deep voice. You might get taller, but you're still gonna be a kid. You mentally. Be who you are, bro. Mentally, especially at twelve. Yeah, bro. My, my niece is ten, and she, bro. Hello, kitty. Mm. Fucking Karomi. It's a uh, bro. It's it's not that far off. Yeah, you're still a child at the end of the day. She still wears the pink Hell, shoes. With my the... cousin is fifteen. That nigga cringe, bro. I have a I have a cousin who's thirteen. Uh, on my mom's side, he, <clears throat> when all the other kids around, he tries his hardest to be cool. Right. I I remember I went out to uh my little brother's birthday. I'm playing. I forgot what I was playing. I'm playing some game. We playing it da da da. And I say something. He's like, Oh, you watch da 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 da. Like, yeah, bro. Like, bro, you're a 
You're in the dome, you watch cartoons? I was like, bro. Yes. That's so cool. I thought I'd have to stop. Like, bro. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Like, bro. It, a lot of it is. It's, 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 it's projection come at on, this bro. Point. I blame his parents because obviously Damn. they know what they're doing. They probably got used to those millions coming in from when he was a kid. And nowadays, since the money flow has slowed down a lot, they're trying to milk whatever's left out of Ryan's kid fame as they can. And it's sick. I guess they don't want to go back to the days of shoplifting at JCPenney oh, for clothes. Oh, and yes, Ryan's mom was arrested for oh, shoplifting at JCPenney some years ago. Shut up, bitch. And I'm not judging her. I'm just saying it makes sense as to why she's milking him so hard. Kind of like how the Mr. Beast drama is being milked. But I really hope for Ryan's sake, this YouTube saga ends soon for him so he can actually try to live a normal his life for however long he can he was already stripped of a normal childhood granted he got into content creation when he was four i mean to sean and loanne how did this all start well brian's been watching youtube ever since he's oh, he did get stripped of a childhood bro he wanted yeah, to do it he wanted to be a youtuber and that's and that's where that's and also come on i'm gonna let you go honestly, drop yeah. that fucking bomb with his mom it's crazy I, I don't think you play but and you gotta remember, they were probably in a worse position, but she was probably trying to shoplift for her family, to provide for her family. Granted, that shit wrong, whatever. Hey, but we don't know circumstance. Hey, man. It's like, at the end of the day, he wanted to be a YouTuber. He was watching YouTube. He wanted to do what the kids were doing. Still to this and day, he got the kids, best version of it, too. Exactly. Yes. Still to this day, kids want to be YouTubers. And you they want to be Ryan. They want to be content creators. They want to be this. He has it right in front of him i don't think nobody's gonna make fun of him for that he can right now he can make another channel and do whatever he pleases i bro I'm and not gonna... even if somebody picks on him for his kid content you know how lame that is right like you know how like you're you're making fun of me for making content when i was a kid and i made millions of dollars huh uh -huh. Bath, he can go bad for oh, bad with anybody. And, oh, bro, with you anybody, know, anybody, you know, middle school is like anybody, to go bad for bad with anybody. And then, and then, like, I got, oh, I got twenty dollars from my mom for I have twenty million in my bank account, like literally. <laughs> What's your, what color is your boo got? Oh, your mom got a Mercedes GLE. I ain't think so. At <laughs> all, and he started watching other kids on YouTube. And he, one day he just come up and asked me, you, you know, can we start a YouTube channel? There's other kids on here. It looks like they're having fun. But he honestly doesn't need to do it anymore. They're already rich. And if they somehow blew through 100 million in eight-ish years, they deserve to be poor. But even if, it's not worth sacrificing what's left of Ryan's childhood and teenage years just to keep the brand going. He deserves a chance to grow up without the pressure of being a public figure. Okay, that's here's, why, here's my oh, thing. I think they're the treating thing. it, they're treating content creation as child actors yeah and it's not and it's also not. also nigga the second channel the ryan animated uh -huh. that is they made that because he's getting older literally they that's literally it was that's literally why they did it so the brand could live forever and literally your your point he should be able to do like what he wants in his teenage years is absolutely correct oh yeah for sure but who's to say this is not, not what it, he wants to it, do it, hold on Oh, and he in after school activities. Uh, <laughs> He's in after school activities. He doesn't film on the weekdays. Uh, right? Hold on, hold on. He out. I'm no, I'm so I'm being so serious. He literally out of his mouth said he goes to school Monday to Friday and he after school activities and all that on weekend. You record. Cool. Bruh, imagine being imagine being 12 years old, you being friends with Ryan, and he'd be like, hey, we're going, we're going to You wanna be in the YouTube video? We're going to Hawaii, yeah. yeah. Or we're going to Hawaii for the summer. You guys wanna ask your parents if you can come? You don't gotta pay. Fuck yeah! His Elimon channel's doing okay. He has the Japanese channel or Chinese channel. Oh, he got multiple languages. That's going cool. Uh he has a has a VTuber channel. Like, okay, so like and like boom, for instance, like I He coolin', bro. I was a kid that didn't grow up with much, but I also grew up with a friend that had a lot of money. He had a fuck ton of money. And anytime they went on vacation, they took me. I was never making fun of this nigga for nothing. Like I don't get bro, I know some of this nigga's darkest secrets, but I'm never gonna make fun of him because first of all, this is my friend, he's taking me with him anywhere he goes. Like he really fucks with me enough to tell his parents to take me somewhere. I'm not making fun of nobody like that. They fuck with me enough to take me on vacation when i can't afford the shit that's my dog i'm, not, I'm sorry i'm also, not like we've made a lot of money on this youtube platform and we've never come incrementally close to anything ryan and all of his channels have done so just imagine even on the low end of what they're doing now they damn near still do better than us by far all by of far us. all of us
It's combined. Combined. Do you know how much money they're still making? Oh, and yeah. the TV deals, those TV deals they have are reoccurring. Yeah. Like, and he has, uh, it's supposedly, it's, it's in paperwork, but supposedly he has deals with toy companies as well. Yeah, shit, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, come on, bro. Come yeah. on. You gotta understand, yeah, a lot of this is just y'all seeing it as We cringe. can't put child actors on to what we believe. And we can't put our belief on this, on what it yeah. is for Ryan, because it's, it's something Because that new. family of eight was trash don't mean the Ryan world family is trash. And it could be. Yeah. It, it could, could be. be. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tear apart your video and discredit you completely, but I think there needs to be a, a bit of nuance a little and bit. balance and a little I like proof yeah this is just this is all based off of that what you th what happened with a lot of child actors and also you finding the videos cringe other people finding the videos cringe that's not what he finds cringe not everybody cringes at the same shit and there's still kids watching them. literally I, a lot, I thought his interview that they just did would be a part of this oh yeah well this dropped this dropped five days ago so yeah really, i mean well let's see how when the interview drops explore his own interests and to figure out who he is outside of the Ryan's world persona. I think the best approach for Ryan and his channel is to do what the gym sisters are doing. He can make another channel, still managed by his parents or whatever, but make chiller content with things he actually likes to do. Because you cannot convince me he likes this. 999,998. 999,999. 1 million. Morning workout complete. I'm ready for superhero school. You know what I think? Okay, that's, that's low key, that's low key every Nickelodeon actor. You're actually that's, that's, that's also that could just be the way he act like that could be his acting that's, that's what i was about yeah. to say i think he actually might be pivoting into acting eventually because like even if like like even if he acts like this or not it will be a good disney channel actor if that makes sense yeah bro this feels like disney channel this feels like nickelodeon it's it's the bro bro it's the same thing yeah it's the same thing, yeah. bro. It's that middle ground between childish and teenager. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing right now. When I head to school, check out this clip from Ryan's World, the movie, Titan Universe Adventure. And if he Probably doesn't want to, to remember content. lines. Yeah creation at all anymore he should be allowed to do that but all i'm saying is he should be allowed to have a choice because we really don't need another jojo siwa running around i also it, as you said wasn't it jojo siwa's choice though also as you said he needs to have a choice and the thing you're failing to realize or note we don't know if he, he had that choice, choice or if this was his choice bro that's all i'm saying that's all my that's my only gripe yeah we don't know if this is what he wants to do or not yeah honestly cannot take it i think i'm going to end the video here hopefully ryan gets the justice he deserves because nobody deserves to get treated like a cash cow especially when it's exploitation from your parents like that's crazy i want to thank you guys but see that and that's, that's the, the way he's assumption. wording it yeah that's, that's yeah. the way he's wording it and the assumption okay. is making it like there's proof there's no yeah, proof of nothing now that the video is over there was no proof of nothing yeah there was no inclination to nothing yeah bro guys for watching the video i just set up channel memberships below so if you guys would like to support that would be awesome i'm also gonna add some custom emojis that I all right uh w video man uh yeah look at ryan's war interview oh let's see oh that's a perfect time to drop that bit yeah. too damn a video going viral about ryan hey hurry up and get that out how much does ryan get to keep of all this oh be careful ryan <laughs> people recognize me and be like hey ryan I just realize that you're famous what's been the biggest sponsorship that you've said no to millions of dollars we lost revenue of 70 percent i just pushed through you're the first creator ever to have a macy day brand wow. balloon and to have a product in walmart that sold over one billion dollars you just go you see nigga shut up bro bro come Relax. on Oh, relax, relax, bro, I was crazy out of He had life. kids older than him. Hyped to see him in the store. Bro, bro, my, bro, my little brother who's eight, right? He's eight. Huh. Watches current Ryan videos. What are we talking? They're immigrant family, and then now full length feature movie. That's a big step. If like Ryan were to call it quits, what would happen? Hold on. Future Ryan's world. Let's just skip to the end real quick. Mm -hmm. Um. For him as much as possible. Wait, wait. Um, it's amazing to hear the, your dad talk about your confidence. Do you, do you ever feel any pressure? Um, not a lot. Uh, not usually. Yeah, it's okay. amazing. Like, I'm a, I'm that honest. looked a little. I'm, that I'm, looked I'm, a little. I'm, that looked a little sketch. I ain't gonna lie to it. That look. That looks sketch as hell, bro. Not a lot. Uh, not usually. 
<laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Like, uh, cause I, I feel like, I mean, like seeing like, uh, like all the different moving pieces that are involved with like YouTube and running a business is easy to feel that. Yeah. We know. try to shield him from any of the, you know, the, the, the business part, right? We really want to keep it fun, um, for him as much as possible. Yeah. So when you guys look ahead, like any other projects that you're most excited about, like the future of the channel, like how do you think about the future of Ryan's world and your business and your family? Yeah, you know, right now I feel like we're at the uh, tipping point where like the movie was it's a great moment, and then from there you know we wanted to kind of um, step aside and think about what we want to go. Ryan's turning thirteen years old this year, so he's turning teenager. So we're thinking about do we want to introduce something like that, aligned with his age, like more uh, for pre aligned to the preteen demographic. Or we want to stay on with the uh, going more for the animation. That, that's something we're kind of debating right now. But, you know, I feel like there's high demand for uh, older demographic for Ryan. So we're kind of thinking about it. But I want to make sure, you know, Ryan's time is well balanced. And, you know, he's doing really well at school right now. So maybe main focus is his school. Yeah. If he came to you and said, hey, dad, I want to be an engineer. Mom, I want to be a teacher like you. Um, you know, I don't want, what, what do you say, like, it's it's okay to, like, leave all, all of this behind? If, if, like, Ryan were to call it quits, like, what, what what would happen to pursue something else? Yeah, for sure, because, you know, like, we, he got into snowboard so much, right? So, I think last year, how many times we went to Japan oh for snowboard? Like four? Four or five times we went to, to Japan so he can snowboard. So, once he has passion you know we get excited about it too we go all all in so we decided to go to uh, to japan why don't they just the little girls those are their children right mm -hmm. uh-huh so why don't they just oh, you know, find, oh well I they they might not want the kids might not want them. every moment that we could go and that that could feed into if they don't want to and you know what i'm saying ryan probably still maybe wants to yeah. I don't know. That one look look real suspicious. I'm you gotta remember, that's an Asian parent. Asian parents are. They went to Japan four or five times. Asian parents, they are. They, 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 they do be kind of chill, but you know, they they, they be uh, serious, bro. Oh, so, even during this summer, he snowboarded. It was in Oregon, so they still had the uh, one ski resort still open during the summer break. So we took him there. He practiced snowboard still. So, you know, if he finds his passion, you know, we all fall supported. And whether it's outside of YouTube or not. You know, we don't really mind. Any final words, Ryan? Any other advice or things that you want to share? Just always believe in yourself. Right up. Yeah. Uh, oh. Um, if somebody was born in the year blank, they're old. Oh, be careful, Ryan. <laughs> uh, I feel like a lot of you are breathing easier. Um, <laughs> um, but but still, I, I feel like where... so many people. You know, you just kind of have to set the uh, uh, the right. Okay, well, uh, that we'll, we'll end it there because I don't want to react. To yeah, no, I feel like I feel like we have to set the expectation right down the middle, bro. Yeah, it's like this could be very much a thing, but it also and that nigga daddy could be a super villain. Oh, like, God. let's be honest, but yeah. that is a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> is it? It look like it. It do look like it. See, my, my only thing is, with that video, it was it was all speculation. There was no ounce of proof. Like, yeah. you can, yeah, you like like he said, you could use the video for proof in regards to, like, oh, how he looked at him in the interview. Oh, yeah, something. I would have understood seeing some sort of signs, body language. I understand stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But it was nothing. It was just, it was just the videos being cringed. Yeah, yeah. how do you feel yeah. about him getting older, basically. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how yeah, this unfolds. Keep up good work. Work, man. Yeah, uh, shout, shout out, out to you. you. That was a, you know what I'm saying. It was a video. It was, it was, it was a video for sure. I go lie. I, I, you, you got the gears going. You were able to elicit a response. It, yeah, uh, it, it was a good talking point. Yeah, you were great able to elicit point. a real you know good response. But uh, yeah, and great thumbnail title. Yeah, yeah, that was real, a great. Real, that was good. Real good. We're about to react to another video, time. Yeah, see you, brother. Hey.